guys, and welcome back to another episode of ESO Dragonhold. So in the last episode, we infiltrated the Order of the New Moon, figured out that they were essentially just sacrificing themselves to the Dragon Latvalon to increase his power, and they're planning on attacking a place called Pride Home soon, so we need to go speak with Mafalar about all of this, see what he knows, and then get to Pride Home. Hey, friend. You walk with purpose, Hunter. What hastens your steps? Latvulan's cult is attacking a temple called Pride Home. Do you know why? Latvulan flinches at the shadows of his past. The Kaz Kal Sul are no more, and yet he fears them still. <laughs> Pathetic. What is the Kaz Kal Sul? The pride of Alkash in your tongue. Kajiti warriors of ages past. Hmm. Some advice, Hunter. Pride Home is not worth our effort. We must concentrate on the battle ahead. Friend. Saving <laughs> priests does little for our cause. That's kind of messed up. This alliance isn't just about defeating Lavalon. We also need to protect elsewhere. <sighs> Why put yourself at risk for such an insignificant victory? Lavalon, yeah, that's Let not very these nice. priests die so that you may live to fight another day. The Dragon Guard is going to protect Pride Home, with or without your help. Fine. <laughs> I shall make my way to Pride Home for the sake of our alliance. Oh, dragons, am I right? <laughs> All right, let's get on the ship. Oh, hello. Who are you? Have we been recruiting more people? That's exciting. I guess that's what the others have been doing, isn't it? <laughs> Well, that's cool. I like how you can kind of see it grow over time. Yeah, I'm really enjoying this so far. Oh, no, that wasn't Pride Home. Okay, Pride Home is way over there. I see, so we have a little bit of running to do. We'll take the Way Shrine to at least get as close as we can. Ah, oh, this town still remains just as confusing, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, finally got to the Way Shrine. Can only get this close, sadly. Looks like there's a dragon heading that way, so... Oh, the dragon is right there. Okay, well, if it's right there, like, come on. We might as well. I can literally hear it super clearly. It looks like there are going to be a lot of people helping us. So hopefully it won't even take us that long, you know? We might as well get the rewards for it and all of that. Probably should have eaten a little bit of food before him, but it's fine. He's almost dead. Oh god, I'm like lagging out horribly, by the way. Can't even use any of my moves until now. But there we go, we did it anyway. And we got another plunder skull, which is great, because I didn't really get to do the Witch's Festival, which makes me really sad, because it's my favorite event. And look, I actually got something new, Hollowjack Shields, very good. Okay, we should probably get out now before another one shows up. <laughs> Looks like we have quite a ways to run. We could probably cut through, we'll just go up this way, maybe. No, that looks tricky. We'll go this way. Yeah, hopefully that's not a mistake. We had to go by the dragon anyway, you see? It was simply in our way. Oh, look at that thing. Oh, hello. We're going to avoid you. You look rather dangerous. <laughs> I say after I just killed a dragon, but you know. Oh, little farm. That's cute. Very nice. I'm still- yeah, there's the last way shrine. I was about to say, like, where is it? It has to be around here somewhere. Looks like we have finally found it. There we go, that's all the way shrines done. That'll be useful if you guys uh, do want me to do the side quests. I don't know if I'm gonna be getting Search ESO Plus. We need to find out what the cult wants with Pride Home. Okay, next month with uh, Christmas coming up and everything. But over time we can do the rest. Okay, search the area. Don't know if that means I should kill cultists and loot them and see what they have, but it acts like it still wants us to go up here, so. There's one of the big, weird armadillo-looking things. Oh, here's Casca and whatever we're Over looking here, for. Walker. This was written by the clan mm. mother. Could be important. Could be. The Pride of Alkosh by clan mother Hazuni. Alkosh weaves and pulls threads tight, a tapestry of endless time. He sees a snag and frowns. With a single claw, he pierces the fabric, catching the snag and pulling it below. The threads realign. I sing of that tapestry, of those tight threads of endless story. The priests of Pride Home sing with me, until our voices become harmony. But those who enter into the pride of Alkosh will become the Dragon King's claws, to catch and pull those dangling threads. They come to us as cubs, born under the dark eclipse. 
They are forgotten manes, destined to never rule. We give them purpose, guidance. We sing the words of Alkosh so that his wisdom may collect in their hearts like the bottom of an hourglass. These secret defenders who shall join the pride of Alkosh. When Alkosh frowns, they rise. When Elsher cries, they fight. And with their dying breath, Kanarthi will be there to guide them to a place beyond the sands, behind the stars. Seems there's more to pride home than we thought. Mm-hmm. The pride of Alkosh. Forgotten manes who protect the threads of time, hidden away in this modest temple. Now Falar mentioned the pride of Alkosh. He said Latvalon was afraid of them. Makes sense. This pride of Elkosh protects elsewhere in times of great need. Dragons scheming to destroy us all would certainly seem to qualify, yes? Yeah. Then where are these warriors? Why aren't they defending Pridehome? Wish I knew, Walker. We could certainly use the reinforcements. You should find the clan mother and see what she knows, if she's still alive, that is. Alright, I'll search for the clan mother. You'll find Zaji further ahead. He heard some bells and went running off. Quite bold of him. He may have a big mouth, but he's never been one for a direct fight. Has our little captain finally <laughs> found his courage? Okay. Hopefully that doesn't lead to any, uh, anything bad. I can't say I have the most confidence in the world in Zaji, but we'll believe in him for now. <laughs> Oh, yeah, there he is. Okay, that's good. Still alive. <laughs> hey, look at this! A letter from Mother! It's peculiar, isn't it? Uh... Clan Mother Hazumi. Hazuni. <laughs> no doubt you heard that the dragons have been unleashed. They seek others of their kind in the deep places of the world, and have even released the demon from the east. We both knew this day would come. We both know what it means. The demon from the east must be destroyed by a warrior filled with the spirit of Alkosh as was always written. It's time to end this ancient battle, as the pride of Alkosh was always meant to. I hope your chosen warrior is prepared. We cannot fail. Clam Mother Tattily. Oh. This one knew Mother could read, but he never saw her write. How does she hold the quill? That's what I was about to ask. <laughs> A demon from the east. The pride of Alkosh. What is Mother going on about? You were raised in a temple. You must know something about all this. Well, this one remembers something about the pride of Alkosh. Uh, they were warriors born during an eclipse, made them more sensitive to time and the call of the moons. For some, it gave them the wisdom to become a main, a leader. For others... For others? They follow a difficult path, Walker. Born under dark moons, the drum of Lorkaj calls to them clearly. Or so the stories go. You should let Sai Sahan know about this. He's deeper within the compound. All right, I'll let him know. Maybe Mother holds the quill in her mouth? <laughs> Can you imagine that? I'm just gonna walk away. Yeah. Let's find Sai. Just keep the pressure oh? there and you should Hello? be alright. Thank you, young Jal. You are with the Dragon Guard, yes? Do you know who attacks our temple? The Order of the New Moon, a dragon cult. They're led by the dragon priest Rakajin. Rakajin? No. He was raised in this temple. We were brothers in all but blood. And yet, he's the one causing all this death, all this destruction. It cannot be true. It's true. We're trying to stop him. You know why Pridehome was attacked? Oh, they seek the clan mother. Noziwa does not know why. Please, she cannot come to harm. You must find her. The last this one saw, she was heading toward the inner temple. Okay. Sai Sahan went on ahead. Tell him about the clan mother while I get this one back on his feet. Right. Was already looking for him anyway. There he is. The cultists moved through Pride Home swiftly. I suspect more await us beyond this gate. The Moon Priest here didn't even possess weapons to defend themselves with. Why would the Order of the New Moon attack this peaceful place? I'm not sure why, but I think they're after the Clan Mother. A Khajiiti wise woman? Hmm. Perhaps they seek her knowledge. It's said the Clan Mothers keep many secrets to themselves, often deceiving others with half-truths and riddles. Do you know where this Clan Mother is? I'm told she fled through here to the Inner Temple. The cult wasn't far behind. And let's hope we get to her before the cult does. Yeah. We should get moving. 
The inner temple is just ahead. Let's move. I'm moving, I'm moving. Another dragon down there. Bubbles. And right there! Buffalo. Oh, okay. Good. Just our friend. That's fine and normal. Kinda startled me there, Nephalon. Goodness, man. Okay, this looks like an important area, maybe. Uh. Hello? So much death. Who uh, could possibly warrant this massacre? We'll watch your back. You can count on us. What? What are y'all doing? Just just hanging out out there? Okay. <laughs> I, I will count on them, I suppose. Scales. See if she's still breathing. Oh no. Well, she's at least sitting up. Yeah. Maybe. Yes. <laughs> the Dragon Guard comes to our aid, and the threads intertwine once more. Izuni has one song left in her, though she may be too weak to sing it. Will you hear it? I need to know why the cult attacked you. Then you must listen. Once a cub was born under the eclipsed moons, destined not to lead as main, but to join the pride of Alkosh. We trained him as a holy warrior, oh. a hidden protector. But that was not enough for Rakajin. I hope he's not like the big destined person to stop the dragon. I don't know. Rakajin was supposed to join the pride of Alkosh? Yes. But greed poisoned his heart. He wanted to rule over elsewhere, not protect it. Then the demon from the east returned. It promised the power of a new moon, and Rakajin listened. Who's the demon from the east? I can only imagine. <laughs> no time. Probably no not time. Too long, I guess. Alkosh, grant me a moment more. The mask. You must find the mask before Rakajin does. Seek the path. Let our founder be your guide. Her statue will... will... Kai Mother? Yeah! Awesome, now is not the Step time! Step <laughs> away, Dragon Guard. She has passed on. Yeah. Uh... The Clan Mother spoke of the statue. We should examine it. Mm hmm Jadari the Endless. Kanarthi's breath and Lorkaj's shadow. She walked the paths of pride. Azura's light and Alkosh's roar. She bowed and so was blessed. Red beast's horn and mask divine. Her end was just a beginning. Okay. Yes, I guess. of course. The statue wears a mask, doesn't it? Oh. What did the inscription tell you? The statue represents Jadari. The inscription mentions a red beast's horn and a divine mask. Jadari? As in the horn of Jadari? It seems Nephilar has some explaining to do. This Jadari must be part of the pride of Alkosh. Perhaps even its founder. Why else would they so prominently display her statue? And Rakajin wants this divine mask, though we're not sure why. The Clad Mother requested we find the mask before Rakajin does. So I can only assume it's a relic of great power. Something we wouldn't want in the cult's hands. Yeah. We need to find this divine mask before the Order of the New Moon beats us to it. But we have no idea where the mask is. Then let's see what our resident Red Beast thinks of all this. Hopefully Nathalar is still nearby. Let's ask him about Jadari and the divine mask her statue wears. Perhaps this time he'll be more forthcoming. Hopefully. Let's go find our scaly friend. The clan mother? We were too late. She's dead. How could Rakashi do this? Hisuni was a mother to him. To both of us! Fate will catch up with Rakajin eventually. We'll avenge. Vengeance means little oh, <laughs> to the dead, Dragon God. Hey, uh, I was actually meaning to speak with you. I have come. Hmm. For all the good it accomplished. The cult seeks a divine mask that belongs to the pride of Alkosh. We need to find it first. The mask of Alkosh. Ah, Lord Vulan is a fool. His pathetic priest will never be worthy of such a relic. Not like Jadari. They chase that which they can never hope to control. What is this mask? 
And who's Jadari? Jadari. I called her Toshrakat. Okay. The founder of Pride Home and the first of Alkash's pride. Hmm. She once wore the mask, yes. And I suspect her corpse guards it still. I hate that. But none of this matters. It does matter. Your horn is named after Jadari. There must be more of a connection. <sighs> Then learn the truth for yourself. If you seek the mask, speak with the clan mother of Kanarthi. It was her temple that cared for Jadari's remains. Fine, fine. I'll go speak with clan mother Tadali. Seek the mask if you wish. I will deal with Latvulan. Mm -hmm. Another trip to mother's temple. <laughs> Oh no, I am not dealing with another one of your bouts of depression. Elia will go. I will? I mean, of course I will. It's settled. You two will head to Kanarthi's temple and search for the mask. Right. Asuka, Zaji, you're with me. Guess we'll try to get to that way shrine again then. Though that is a little bit of pain, is it not? We could always go back home. So convenient. All right, back to Kanarthi's breath. Okay, back again. Let's go find the clan mother. Pardon the intrusion, clan mother, but we bring distressing news. You speak of pride home, yes? And the death of Hizuni. You already know? This one heard whispers on the wind. May Kanarthi carry her to sweeter sons. Though Tidali consents the winds of death, she is blind to your motives. Tell this one, Dragon God, why have you come? I need to find a divine mask, buried alongside the hero Jadari. Yes, this temple cared for Jadari's remains long ago. You seek the halls of the High Main, a most sacred place. Its secrets have been passed down across the ages. Though perhaps that tradition has died with Hizuni. I need to get to the mask before Rakajin does. Even if Rakajin finds the mask, it would reject him. He will never be worthy of its power. Clan Mother Hizuni asked me to find the mask. Would you deny your dying wish? That's a little... <laughs> She did. A little harsh. Hmm. Then perhaps Yuzuni saw something in the tapestry of time that this one has yet to hear in the wind. Very well. Seek the statue of the Forgotten Main south of this temple. Just listen for the bells. I'll head there at once. You will find a bell stand by the statue, much like the one in our temple's courtyard. After so many years of neglect, Tidali is sure the bells are heavily tarnished. You should cleanse them before this one arrives. Okay, I still have questions. Don't know if I Very actually well. do. I, I think I'm... we're okay. Let's talk with Alia. The Halls of the High Main. Sounds rather ominous, doesn't it? I don't think this will be a simple jaunt through some ruins. Let's just hope Rakujin doesn't find the mask first. We have to go to a statue of the Forgotten Main, south of here. There should be bells nearby. Yes, I know the statue. Zaji and I passed by it the last time we were in Black Heights. It seemed to unsettle him, but he wouldn't tell me why. Well, no time to ask him now. I'll meet you by the statue. Are you sure you want to go with me? Maybe you should let Sai Sahan know what we found. Of course I want to go with you. You'll need assistance, won't you? I know that I might not be the strongest of the Dragon Guard, or the most experienced, or even the most resourceful. Trust me, I'm aware of my shortcomings. But I can still help. You seem determined. I'm sorry, it's just... I can't help but feel like I've let you all down. Yagrandu was dead by the time we arrived. Could I have done something to find him sooner? And Casca helped you find the Order of the New Moon, not me. And my father. And you blame yourself for all those things? It may not sound reasonable, but I can't help it. It's easy to doubt myself after so many failures. That's why I want to come with you. I want to do something right. I want to prove that I'm worthy of the title Dragon Guard. 
All right, man, that's uh, of course up to you. Uh, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and leave it here. We're kind of at a weird in-between point, but I also feel like we're probably about to do a ruin or something. Not sure. I feel like next episode will either be the episode before last or the finale, so I feel like we're getting pretty close. At least if that one list of quests was accurate and there are only six. But yeah, don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Maybe consider supporting my coffee or Patreon if you want to help me in the channel out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.